Team Center is moving to the cloud as Team Center X. What's the big deal? Let's talk about that next. All right, so Team Center is moving to the cloud in a new version of itself called Team Center X. Um, so what's going on here? So basically, you'll be able to access Team Center functionality through a browser, and I'm sure there's gonna be other kind of connected clients that uh, connect with Team Center and kind of have the, the functionality you're used to there. Um, but furthermore, I guess the big point is that Siemens Digital is gonna be taking care of the infrastructure, right? So you don't have to manage that as much. To understand the real implications here, let's, let's kind of look at how traditional PLM solutions are set up uh, and run. So, you know, you have one company with a number of people involved in development, and you have PLM installed uh, in that company, and there's a number of IT folks there at the top that kind of manage and maintain the solution. But you know, those companies very rarely work in isolation. They work with a lot of suppliers and there's a lot of people within those suppliers that want to connect um, and be able to contribute and collaborate on the development process. So obviously there needs to be secure connections here. You know, you're talking about uh, very valuable intellectual property that needs to be protected so enabling collaboration with those other companies, with those other participants, is something that needs to be uh, <laughs> very well protected. You have to be very careful about it. You gotta get the right security protocols in place. So as a result, you see a lot of these IT folks really focusing on infrastructure. You know, you can have a whole team that just focuses on security and performance um, and a range of other stuff that doesn't really enhance the functionality of the PLM solution uh, that is being used internally. All right, so let's let's talk about this for a minute. Is this some horrible scenario or situation? No, it's not. Um, people have been using Team Center in this fashion for years, for in some cases decades. Um, so, so I mean, it's workable, right? I mean, companies that have constraints around. Uh, security. Uh, sometimes you have to have regulatory compliance uh, if they're working on DOD contracts, uh, defense contracts and things like that, government contracts, where it's mandated you have to have this stuff inside your company. Um, you know that this is a perfectly fine setup to work in that way. A challenge is within smaller companies that can't afford to have that kind of staff uh, manage a PLM solution like this. Uh, that's kind of the a barrier to entry for them to use, you know, functionality that is very applicable. You know, their product development processes are just as complex as the big companies. They just don't have these dedicated resources to set up systems and, and manage them and maintain them. Uh, so moving to the cloud, uh, this scenario looks different. So in a cloud setup, and what we're talking about with Team Center X, uh, really the PLM solution is not kind of set up and installed and maintained inside the company. It's in the cloud. Uh, it is on infrastructure, and there's lots of different cloud hosting solutions out there. But basically, it's uh, outside the firewall of the company. And the OEM can connect to it, the suppliers can connect to it, and that's done securely through their uh, through their connections. Uh, and and the the cloud infrastructure provider kind of um, they build and maintain those security protocols. So it's it becomes really interesting because you know that IT staff that typically takes care of the PLM solution internally worries all about infrastructure. Well, they can be dedicated to uh, deploying and leveraging new PLM functionality uh, to accelerate the development process. So what's the big takeaway here? Um, I think there's implications for different types of companies. For very large companies, it's actually a way for you to get your IT folks um, focused or refocused 
on the functionality they're delivering to the end users. Uh, you don't have to worry as much about infrastructure or security and kind of all the lower level stuff that's being delivered uh, as part of the platform in, with Team Center X. For smaller and mid-sized companies, uh, this makes Team Center accessible to you. Um, there have been other kind of offerings with Team Center in the past, but this is kind of the full-blown Team Center set of capabilities that you can grow into over time and you don't have to worry about those infrastructure things. You don't have to have dedicated staff to plan, deploy, maintain Team Center. Uh, this is something that can be very hands-free for you and you can really focus on using Team Center's expansive capabilities. You know, it's one of the most widely deployed PLM solutions out there. Uh, it, ha it has this long legacy and heritage uh, being used in the industry. You can leverage that and know that you're using something that's really rock solid. So that's it. So those are the implications for Team Center moving to the cloud, becoming Team Center X. That's it. Take care and talk soon.